About an hour away from Huntington, West Virginia, we find ourselves in Charleston where the UCF football team is spending the night to get set for their big game against Marshall tomorrow. Mark Daniels and Mike Rudadoria. It is sunny right now, but it will not be the case when kickoff happens. We expect cold temperatures and a chance of some rain and wind. Mike Rudadoria, that weather could be a factor. Last year, the torrential downpour between UCF and Marshall, but can the weather be critical in this football game? Oh, no doubt about it. I think uh, the UCF offense was as prolific as it was uh, last year, was hampered by the rain, not scoring any touchdowns. The only score last year was a defensive touchdown. I think any kind of inclement weather really favors the Knights. Let's talk about Marshall's offense. Uh, Rakeem Cato leads the country in passing. They run 91 plays a game, Mike. How does UCF slow them down? Well, I think in that matter, to use the old cliche, the, the best kind of defense is just keeping your offense on the field. I think we got to have ball control offense. I think we're going to see a lot of Latavius Murray and, and, and run the ball versus a defense that gives up 230 yards rushing a game. Uh, defensively, it's going to be a test mark. When that defense is on the field, you're facing Rakeem Cato, a sophomore quarterback that should really put up great numbers. He leads the nation in a lot of categories, and he is a real good athlete. It is a huge football game in Conference USA. The Knights look to remain unbeaten. It's the final time UCF and Marshall will play. Play. The Knights have never lost to Marshall in Conference USA. It'll be an interesting matchup, 8 o'clock kickoff. For Mike Rodoria, I'm Mark Daniels. What's up, fans? Come out to Bright House Stadium and watch us take on SMU on November 3rd.